So it's currently 8.30 p.m. on Monday. I want to go to Colorado around like five in the afternoon Wednesday. This is where we're at here, check it out. What's going on guys, Chris Rennick here, and today you already know what we're driving. We're driving the motherfucking Evo, so I kinda want you guys up to speed with everything that's going on. So currently, right now, we're going to Hutch's welding. He's going to weld the fuel cell right there. Roberto and I, we made some brackets last night. He made a harness, he made all of that stuff. Before we do any of that, Courtney, what are we a proud owner of now? Ken. We are a proud owner of a kitten now. I have some footage that you guys can just check out right now. It was from a few days ago. This is how we ended up having a kitten. Okay. <sighs> another day, another getting an animal off the side of the road. There was like this little kitten that literally just looked like he got born. Corny's like freaking out because it was in the middle of the road like limping. So now she has this kitten. We're ready to go ahead and spend $200 at Petco. Someone's gonna claim her and we're gonna be $200 less rich. All right. Courtney, what the hell are you gonna do with that? Oh, you yeah, poor thing. Oh my God. My heart is racing. It almost got run over. Oh, it's okay. We have to go back home. What? Well, we have to get it food or something. It's okay. Courtney, we don't have any food. We have to go get, we have to go to Petco or something. I have to get. What did I tell you? Oh my God, you almost ran it over. I did not almost run it over. I said, Courtney, there's a cat there. You're like, oh. Oh my god! Shh, don't scream. It's already scared. All right. Jeez. Well, my day's over. What did I tell you? I know Courtney all too well. Huh, Courtney? Well, Courtney has a new kitten. What's its name? I'm thinking about something, but I don't want to say it yet because I don't know if it's official. So, it's okay. a surprise. What are you getting? Baby formula? Well, Kitty it, formula? Baby formula? Okay. Money's racking up right here. Every time I go to Petco, I treat myself to a dog treat. Which one is it? Oh, it's these. These are fire. Right here. They're so good. No. Courtney. I'm not eating that. Why? Look, we're next. Damn it. All right, I can't help myself. Maybe one more. I guess those cookies weren't complimentary. I guess he had to pay for them because I took another one. She said next time just pay for them. 50 bucks, not too bad, and two free cookies. Hell yeah. Courtney wants me to go the same exact way we did to find this because she thinks she's gonna find another one. I just wanna make sure that the- You're gonna keep them all. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> she, you're smiling. <laughs> I just wanna make sure that no brothers or sisters or mothers. What's the new name? No, I'm not, I'm not, it's not official yet. Oh, not official. Okay, go slowly, this is please. the street, Courtney. Go slowly. And, oh, what is that? It's a bird. No, that's a plastic bag. Oh, it's a bird. I All know. right, go slowly, go slowly. I am going Wait slow. Wait I'm going second. three miles per hour. I need hour. to get out. What? No. What if they're in that, no, seriously, I need to get out. Courtney. What if they fell down the grate right there? They didn't. Well, can I just check so I can have some peace of mind? Yes. Thank you. You're taking the cat with you. That's fine. The poor thing's probably gonna think, I'm not dumping you back, I promise. We're gonna go look for your brothers and sisters. Come on. You can meow too, maybe call out to them. Find any? No, but I'd like to check just along the other side. What? Well, because she ran across. We're going right. Please just let me get out and look. Yeah, but just, yeah, give, give me a little this, easy turn. This is ridiculous. Look at that thing in the middle of the road. You want to rescue that thing? That no. flamingo looking thing? No, it doesn't need rescuing. Courtney, there's none. All right. You're good? Peace of mind done? <sighs> yeah, I feel better. Okay. So, yeah, we are owners of a kitten now, and if you see what Courtney's doing right now, it's because she watched Grace and Frankie. <laughs> And I don't know if you guys seen Grace and Frankie on um, Netflix, but it's about gay guys, you know, breaking up with their wives after like 40 years or something. And they go gay together, they get married, and they meet another gay guy, and they rub his ear to turn them on. The Courtney is turning me on right now. You wanna have sex? Is it working? Yeah, you wanna have sex right now? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. 
All right, so we just dropped the fuel cell off at Hutch's Welding. If you guys want to follow them, their Instagram is going to be right there. I figured I'd give him a little shout out because he's helped me a lot. He dropped it off today and he said it's going to be done today. Even though he's busy, he's going to help me out because he knows the time crunch. So just give him a follow. We're going to lunch. Do you hear that disgusting pad noise? I need to get pads for this car, but I have yet to figure out what pads to get for it because it's an Eva 1. I don't, I don't know what to find parts for. We're going to eat. So every time Courtney goes on Facebook, she finds an ad, and that ad always leads to, Chris, can we go there? <laughs> so here we are, we're going to zero degrees. I'm actually pretty stoked on this place. Um, they have some cool things, I don't really want to explain it, so I'm just gonna show you. So far, so good, you get some Mancala that Courtney doesn't even know how to play, which is blows my mind. I used to, I just forget. And you get like this split Bulba tea crap, I have no idea what this is, but I just went for it. I just choked on a strawberry. <laughs> it was so hard to suck that strawberry out of that straw. Got them barbecue wings, honey fucking barbecue with popcorn chicken. Hell yeah? Hell yeah. All right, so we just got done playing Mancala, and I counted her marbles in here, and she counted mine. We're gonna say it at the same time. Ready? On go. Three, three two, one, go. 24. <laughs> Okay, are we done now? I'm pissed. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, guys, so it is now 5 o'clock. I just got the fuel cell back from Harvey Fabricator, and it came out amazing. So there's a bracket right here. There's a bracket right here to kind of hold the fuel cell from going forward and back. And there's also a bracket there, 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 and there. And, like, this thing's, like, not even bolted up right now, and it's pretty sturdy like obviously yes if we're drifting with no bolts it's gonna f fly around but once i get everything bolted up this thing is going nowhere it looks pretty good i'm pretty stoked on how we mounted it so now what i'm gonna do is i need to take the diffuser off because in order to drill these out it's gonna go right under where the spare tire used to be and as you can see you can't really get to it because of the diffuser sadly because the diffuser sucks to take off but it's all right i'm gonna get to work all right guys so i just drilled out the brackets and the bolts fit absolutely perfect. There's like no wiggle room at all. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna mount this into the car and I have to go ahead and I actually have to drill into the body right here. All right guys, so this is the real rod knock here. This is the happy rod knock. And you know, I'm a bit dirty. That diffuser really took a toll on me, but I ended up taking most of it down just so I can like pull it down just a tiny bit. But I ended up tight tightening all four of the bolts on the bottom. So that fuel cell should be pretty solid at this point. I, I haven't lowered it and sh shaked it yet, but I bet you she's fucking money. Colorado, here we come. All right, boys, moment of truth. Let me just move his hammer. I, I literally used the hammer to hold the bolt down so I can tighten it. And it was weird. I didn't even have to put like a wrench on the top. I was able to just tighten it. Everything was good, but oh my Dude, this thing is literally not going anywhere. I am pumped. The lift is moving, watch, watch the car. The, the car is moving more than the fucking fuel cell. So I'm more than stoked on this thing. This thing is ready to roll. Okay, so now we got that fuel cell all bolted up, ready to go. Don't drop the camera, Chris. We need to bring this, these AN fittings and this AN line to HP real quick. I just need to use their vise. Um, cut this fray off the end, and then I'm gonna put both of these on both ends. I have to quick connect them to the sicky feel filter, and then run the lines back, measure both of them, and then cut them after that. So we're gonna have to do tri two trips, but it's okay because we are making the feed and return line now. All right, so it's currently 8.30 p.m. on Monday. I want to go to Colorado around like five in the afternoon Wednesday. This is where we're at here, check it out. This is a shit show. All right, so last time I talked to you guys, it was about 8.30 at night. It is currently 4 a.m. right now. We have been grinding on this car, and let me tell you, we can 100% make it to Colorado right now. Um, so around nine o'clock, I was drinking a Monster. I was, you know, living life. I felt great. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take the fucking subframe out. Like, it's a great idea. I can route the lines, the gas lines. I can make everything pretty, which I did. And around 10.30, like when the subframe was out and everything, or 11, whatever the fuck time it was, the monster started coming down. My high started coming down and I started crashing. I was like, ah, I don't really know if I can do this anymore. 
But an hour went by, it was kind of just dilly-dallying, just poking around, cleaning things up. And I got my, I got a second wind. So check this out, oh, let me get a light. So you can see we got the gas line routed with actual real P clamps, not these ghetto ass Home Depot piece of garbage, fray your fucking line and die. It comes up where the old tank used to be, goes all the way up near the brake line right there. More P clamps here, don't trip on the subframe. And then they go up, they go up, up, and then they go into this hole which is insulated with um, vacuum line i just cut a slit in it i have to do this one one more time because it kind of got messed up but that's what that looks like since the subframe was out i decided the diff the diff cover was leaking a lot at first i used red rtv and now i know that red rtv you can't use with an oily substance so i just went ahead and i used gray rtv right there cleaned up the diff cover because it was disgusting and i ended up just cleaning the whole subframe because when i want to work on this car I don't want to get like grease and shit on my fingers. It just fucking sucks. This thing sucks to work on. Go, moving on. It's so funny that I dropped the subframe and I have yet to drop the diffuser. I just hate doing this. And actually I was cleaning this right here and I was pulling down so hard that I almost ripped it out and I almost broke it. But thank God it's literally holding on from two bolts but I refuse to take it out because it's just a challenge at this point. Um, before I lower the car, I just wanted to show you, this is my venting system. So the fuel cell is completely hooked up. Everything is good. The car will start right now. I can show you that in a second. But this is the venting system. I just don't want to lift it back up if I don't need to. Check that out. P-clamps, hell yeah. Your boy Rod Knox moving up in the world. All right guys, so this is the money shot right here. I'm very happy with how this came out. I really took my time on this and it really does show. So check this out. This is the fuel cell right now. I went ahead and I P-clamped it all around so the lines won't move. If I go to a competition, a drift event, this will 100% pass tech. The only thing I need to do is I need to make a battery hold down and I do need to block off like the cockpit right there because that obviously is illegal, I guess you can say. But everything is hooked up. Like I said, these two are the vents. They go down to that hole that I just saw you. This is the feed, that's the return, and everything is looking fancy. I even went ahead and I zip tied these up. I'm zip tying all the wires. This isn't done yet, I still have to clean that up a little bit, but I don't know. From the Rice Miata to the LS3 E36, like the fuel cell setup, I think I have learned a lot. I can't believe like this is the first time ever using real P-clamps, like these, changed my life like i'm go i'm literally gonna stock up like a hundred of these just to use them all the time just because they clean up everything so nicely and i also stacked up on a bunch of self tappers but yeah this is the fuel cell let's start this baby up all right guys so there's no exhaust well there is exhaust it's kind of just a straight pipe check it out oh god what was that oh okay never mind false alarm thought something was falling on me <laughs> So as you can see, the fuel cell works, everything is good, but sadly, I still have a lot of work to do. Right now, I'm currently about to put the subframe back in the car. I'm just trying to get everything done tonight. I still need to go to the junkyard, like a certain BMW piece fell off the subframe, and I need to get that, so that's gonna be fun on its own. I still need to wire up some gauges. I'm gonna do the coolant temp gauge, and I also have a gas gauge as well. I actually talked on the phone with Siki today, and I had to measure a few things with the shifter, but I'm trying to work with them right now. They have a shifter for this car. We just need, I just sent them some measurements, and in the morning they're gonna get back to me and see if that shifter is gonna work. But cross your fingers, because Siki short throw shifter in this thing, this thing is gonna shift like fucking butter. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the subframe in now, because it's like 4 a.m., and I'm probably not gonna get any sleep tonight, but it's okay, because Colorado, baby, hell yeah. And and I fucking missed posting because I don't have my computer here. It doesn't matter because the work, everything, it shows. So, hell yeah. <sighs> All right, update. As you can see, the sun is coming well, out. The sky is coming out. The sky is blue with, with the partial clouds. You guys missed the weather channel. Well, the Rod Knock weather channel is back. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm so tired. But anyways, the car is about 85% done. 
The only thing I have to do is I need to wire in some sensors. We got the subframe fully in. We got the brakes half bled. I actually ran out of brake fluid, so we couldn't continue that. Um, we got the diffuser back on, which that ended up defeating me. I had to take it completely off, and we had to end up putting it completely back on because um, in order to get the subframe and in order to use that like table jack, um, we had to take the diffuser off completely. So fuck you, diffuser. But I just put the whole thing back up with some self-tappers and she's good to go. I'm gonna go home. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna get like a three, four hour power nap and then I still need to go back to the fabricator. I need to go to the junkyard because I need to get another part for this. Before we go to Colorado, actually tomorrow now, which doesn't even seem real at this point, but we're gonna do it. I didn't stay up all night just to work for no reason and I'm still so stoked. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this. I think um, Roberto and I did a great job. He did the wiring. Other than that, I did all the lines and placing the tank and it looks absolutely great. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, sir. Sorry I didn't really cover too much on the E36 today. Honestly, I was just grinding all night and I really, really want to go to Colorado. I loved it there. And hopefully we can like meet up with like Boosted Boys and everything, it's gonna be a good time. So like I said, if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. We just did a poll in front of these guys. I'm sorry, man. They don't care. I apologize, I do, I really do.